Hi, I'm Kendra on it. I'm Gia Ferrari. I'm Athena Kills, and you're watching the RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season Three, Episode Three: Bobio a Mama. Go, 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 go. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Here we have special guest. Our House of Gorgeous sister, Miss Athena Kills. Hey, Athena, how are you doing? I'm in pain because I just got braces. Oh, Yay, so she'll so have a beautiful cute. smile one day. In, in about, two years. Hit me up uh, in about two years. Hey. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive into this episode. So ultimately, Ben was going to send Thorgy home too. So yeah. how do you guys feel about that? I thought it was... Okay, here's the thing about Thorgy. I love Thorgy, but I feel like she represents a type of drag that's very like experimental mm -hmm. that many people maybe know, don't get. So it reads as it's not good. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I feel like a lot of people maybe just don't understand where she was coming from with that outfit. Um, I for one thought it was good, but I feel like eventually she would have sent herself home eventually. You well, know what I mean? I don't necessarily think it was just about the outfit. Also, her just in the musical challenge, she mm -hmm. was just given the shitty end of the stick. She was. She and was. She was given Stevie Nicks, girl. Yeah. She was. So I mean, she Let's went say, home. Somebody but... getting Nina Simone. What the fuck you go do to that? Oh. Uh, well. <laughs> So this week's maxi challenge was a challenge where the girls had to improvise on a spoof of the bachelor called the bitchler. Mm -hmm. Each each one of them was given a different character that they had to portray and then they were partnered up into groups to do like a double date type of situation. Yes. To see who stands out more. Mm -hmm. So y'all ready to get into these queens? Let's do this. So the first group we had was Ben de la Creme and BB and yes. BB was the virgin and Ben, and ben the was the cougar. Mm -hmm. So what did you guys think about her? Oh my God, the second I saw Ben de la Creme, I instantly got like a mashup of like the mom from Mean Girls yes. and like some really old raunchy real housewife of Beverly Hills. I saw tan mom. Oh, okay. Like, because no, her titties, her titties are, like, kind of brownish yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, I saw Tan Mom and the, the mom from Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Yeah. Yeah. Very mom. that. Like, if you snorted a line right before. I thought Ben did a, did a really good job. She, she came did. out and she was just she sipping her was cocktail. She so was, like, drunk. She came out with her coochie out. She was very, she was very boozy, very much. Girl. Pretty much an uh, Orange the, County yeah. cougar. And it then Bibi. <laughs> Bibi, she did the virgin, and she decided to do, like, an African uh, type of princess. I need her to stop relying on that African. See, this is what I was going to say. And do something, a ridge. I like that she goes back to her roots with that, and she incorporates that into a drag, which is very I'm original. over it, and I'm black. But Ooh. you heard it here first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to see if she could bring something a little different. So the next up, our next duo, we have Trixie and Milk. And Trixie, she came out as like the fake bitch. Mm -hmm. And Milk came out as like a psycho kind of stalker kind of thing. Now, yes. uh, what did you guys think about Trixie when she came out of that limo? Trixie gave me Heidi Montag vibes 100%. Oh, like 100% Heidi. Heidi Montag. God. And I actually then, you know who she is. My oh, oh my know. god! You know who Heidi is? I sure do! Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no. But then Milk, obviously she was a stalker. I thought Milk, when she started off, she was really, really good. She said that, oh, I move. It was so funny to me when she said, I move a lot due to legal reasons. I thought that was really funny. And how she said, is it okay for me to come closer? I know this is like more less than fit, five, 50 yards or something like yeah, that. Second. I thought that was really funny. She definitely caught my attention the second she came out. I knew exactly what character she was playing. And I was all for it. I thought it was really good. It was cute. It was cool. I, I okay, For Milk, I didn't like it. I think she was... Not even the beginning? Uh, the beginning was... It was uh, no. She was laughing. Like when they were together as a group, just I could tell Trixie was so annoyed. because She Milk, was not happy. Milk was yeah. just doing it too much. And Trixie was trying to get her lines in and she couldn't. And which um, might have cost her the top two, it, but she didn't get her lines yes, in. Yes, 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 yes. But I mean, but I think she definitely still saved herself with those lines she got in. So next up, we had the next duo, which was Aja as the needy girl and Kennedy as the party girl. What did you guys think about their looks? Kennedy, I loved Kennedy. First of all, Kennedy, Kennedy was funny. She reminded uh, me of a banshee me. Ooh, because you know I always got okay. a flash. So you okay? Uh, first of all, I'm not banshee ho. She was very, very country, very southern, 
which she was stacked in the front and in the back. I have to say it, y'all don't kill me, but she definitely reminded me of Candy Burris from The Real Housewives. Awesome. Yeah, definitely with the red hair and everything. I thought it was funny when she she pulled out a flask from her bra. She pulled out a, 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 a shot glass. A bottle. She pulled out a bottle from her coochie. <laughs> she was a party she girl. Said. She was funny and she, she was stealing the show. I feel Aja was more of Milk's character. She was being more of that psycho stalker yeah. almost instead of needy. So, but the thing is, see, I'm I'm real needy. So when she was playing that character, I was looking in the mirror. So I was all with it. That's that's literally me. I mean, uh, maybe I know. shouldn't say that. I don't want to scare my potential future husband out there. And yeah, Aja's. Uh, uh, she uh, she didn't know what she was doing. Man. Speaking of not knowing what they were doing, next up is Chi Chi and Shangela. Oh. Now, Chi Chi and Shangela, they were a polyamorous couple, and Chi Chi was supposed to be more into Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, who is fine as fake, by the way. Oh yeah. my god. He is delicious. I love you. And Shangela was supposed to be more into Chi Chi. It was probably my least favorite performance out of. It was It was definitely my least favorite. Oh, yeah. It was, I don't know. It was. I, Chi, I, okay, they were going for like, you know, Shangela was like the dominant. Yeah. And Chi Chi was like the sub. But I didn't understand Chi Chi's character. Like, was she trying to be. I think she was shy? trying to be like a ditzy a bimbo. And then Shangela was supposed to be, you know, the one that wears the pants in the relationship. Yeah. It, it didn't mesh. I thought Shangela did good for her character, but I, I feel didn't like Chi Chi was. I didn't think Shangela was good. I think they both were shit. Really? I'm sorry. No, I definitely thought Shangela brought it to some extent, but I feel like Chi Chi was just so bad. It kind of brought her down with it. You know what I mean? No, because Sh Shangela, Shangela know how to act and she, be funny. She does, and right? She had some. Was, she had her little one-liners. But they just, they weren't, Yeah, it didn't, didn't do it for me. Because they, they, they were given that, you know, Chi Chi is supposed to be into the guy and Shangela was supposed to be Chi -Chi, into Chi Chi. I didn't get that at all. No, it seemed no. like both of them were into the guy, but then they, they wanted him for his sperm. Yeah. But they, then, made, they made up like a whole story. It yeah. was a lesbian couple looking for a dude for sperm. But then I also feel like Shangela kind of realized at one point, this is not really reading well. I'm gonna just try to be funny and make this shit look. You know was what I mean? Doing the best she I mean, could. Yeah. She made, Chi Chi didn't even know what her next line was gonna be. She, uh, was, ever. Like, she was like, uh, whatever, whatever Mama, Mama says. Mama. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on, Chi Chi. The funniest part of the whole thing was when she leaned into his ear. Wanna have my baby? Yeah, that was the, that was the funniest part of the that whole thing. That was funny, yeah. and I wish she would have been that funny the whole time. Mm -hmm. But it was it was all a week. It was a bomb. So the theme of the runway was wigs on wigs on wigs. A challenge inspired by Roxy Andrew in season five when she lip synced against Alyssa Edwards to whip your weave back and forth. She did that wig reveal. Girl, with a beautifully coiffed lace Girl, front. Gag on gag Wig gag. underneath a beautifully coiffed lace front. Oh, okay. Now before, before we get into the the runway, I really want to talk about RuPaul's look. I thought yes. RuPaul looked stunning oh, tonight. My. Raven and Delta Work are really, really Working. stepping their game up. Delta working. Yeah. And I actually really appreciated her little kind of harnessy belt. We gave me like yeah. I thought it was cute. Her look tonight, she looked stunning. I mean, per usual, she's I always mean. on point. But today she was more on point than ever before. Because the hair is hot. I want the <laughs> So first on the run, we have Banja LaCreme. So what did you guys think of her look? I actually really loved it because, okay, so she came up with like this little like, up to first mm -hmm. that she took off and she did had like you know 45 inch long long hair. ass weave it, it cost a lot of money yeah it was long mm -hmm. it was really long but then the gag was she took off her skirt and out comes just wigs more wigs, wigs. wigs which i thought was good because i have always said i hate when there's an obvious reveal i didn't see that i didn't, wig skirt I, I didn't see it coming at all so, it, was, it was very very i yeah. loved it i didn't see it, it coming really, at it all it was really cute and i think she definitely stood out with that because i didn't feel like a lot of girls were thinking to do an outfit wig reveal i didn't think yeah. it was gonna i didn't think any of the girls were gonna do outfit reveals right. i just thought it was gonna be a wig on a wig yeah. So that definitely so made she did a wig out. on a wig on top of an outfit reveal with a wig. With a wig, 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 with a wig. Go, 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 go. She better fuck. And then brushed it too. She did. She did. She said. So you know it wasn't tangled. Ooh. Like. Go. So then we have Miss Bibi Zahara Bene. She came out in like a Japanese kimono, kind of uh. up to, kind of quaff. Chinimaru, and then she <laughs> she like she took off the kimono what and it was a little sexier, and then she took off the hair and she had like balls of hair. What did y'all think of that? I, I do you want to go? <laughs> I thought she looked fucking gorgeous. She looks so fucking good. 
obviously she's a yeah. winner of season one she knows how to look good but i just feel like this look was just so well put together it and was. it was different she went like an asian route with it and uh -huh. to the japanese secret so as opposed straight to away from that african Africa. oh okay wait i just noticed that she did huh. she did she took my advice in the episode in the future okay I did. come on baby uh, la, 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 la. I really absolutely loved the second <gasps> hair that she had. It was uh -huh. just like a bunch of balls and it looked really good. And it I, was cute. I, I kind of want one of those. Balls. You know, I really didn't care for BB's second outfit that when she took it off, I it mean, was, it was, it was basic. And it was something, but, but it was you know, cute. It was whatever. She looked, she looked good. And she probably saw Ben put her reveal together and was, was like, like, girl, let, let me, me, let me get something. Bitch. Here we go. This is what I'm going <laughs> to get. This is. Tonight, oh, this is what I'm going to get my from Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we had Miss Trixie Mattel with yes. her 60s-inspired Lady Bunny look. What did y'all think about it? I I, I like the look. The first look, the Lady Bunny-ish look, was it was it was cute. It was cute. It, it was, was cute. Put, it was well put together. It was yeah. meow 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 around the house for me. Mm -hmm. But then she took that the big hair off and had that little short hair and then the little 60s. Get up underneath, and mm -hmm. I lived for her second look under that. I think it was very chic. It was very fashion forward. It was, it was, very, it was very, very cute. Mm -hmm. I I liked the big hair, oh, but then she, she took it off into a short hair. Uh -huh. I just felt it was a it's very... Lazy. Yeah. It's Yeah. Just like, okay, here we go. A wig mm -hmm. under a wig. She looked good. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I just feel she could have been a little more inventive with it. I liked her explanation, though. She was like, I wanted to see if Lady Bunny could turn into Naomi Small. And she Turns did. out she and it, <laughs> it was It was very, very cute. That was cute. So next we have Big and Milky. So I thought I liked her look. You did? I, I did. I liked it. It was refreshing because she was the first girl out of the group to not do the costume change. Uh -huh. And she also had a different kind of wig reveal. She kind of, it was like kind of a Russian doll. She just, right. actually it was, it really was like that Barbie because my sister had it. That you pull the hair and then it grows. That's what she was giving me. Oh. I feel, you mentioned that, you know, she's the first one not to do a costume change. Uh -huh. I feel she's going to do that. The costume needs to be beat. This right. is the costume that True. she got. She found at Ross and it was like, oh, 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 oh. this is a cute outfit. Or some thrift store. It was a boo-boo that she cut. All right, so after Milk, then we had Aja, and she came out in like an anime style, cartoony character, fantasy. Uh, I really liked it a lot. So, so cute, good. so cute. I will say though, I didn't like when she took off her her cartoony hair, hair piece, and she had that yellow hair. I didn't like the yellow hair, but when she took off the yellow hair into the purple hair, that was everything. She was the first one that had a wig. On wig. On wig. On wig. I agree with Michelle Visage that this was the best Aja's looked yes. on. Yeah, Both her season and now, so good. And mm -hmm. this is quintessential Aja. This is when I think Aja, this is what I think of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really anime, cool. blow up doll, yeah. sexy, tall, skinty, pink, Very pastels. Mm -hmm. She gave me everything that I think Aja is. What I think I was more impressed by was the lining on that bodysuit. I really zoomed in and I could see the details uh -huh. and it really came to life for me. I thought she had one of the best looks. For sure. It looked really good. For sure. She probably just, did have one of the best looks. I just mm -hmm. didn't like that yellow hair. That purple hair was real cute. It was very, very cute. I want one in every color. It was a bang piece and two ponytails. Yeah. I can make you one. Hey, you do. Hey, you do. Next up, we had Miss Kenta T. Davenport. Yeah. Looking elegant as always. And she also had one of the best looks in my opinion. Yeah. I did like her dress mm -hmm. as well. And LaShawn Beyond actually made that for her. Oh, did she? Yes. Did she? I love LaShawn Beyond <gasps> looks. This is not RuPaul's best friend race. Bitch. <laughs> Kennedy came out with like a big fro first, which she took off into this ugly ass pink hair piece. I which hated it. Which is another middle throwaway wig. Right, I hated that pink wig. They were like, girl, I need it something. It was unbrushed, it was just ugly. <laughs> but then she so, took that off into a blonde pixie. It was so pixie. cute. Bam! I yeah. live for a pixie. I live for a pixie. So next we have the Bayou Queen herself, Miss Chi Chi Devane. Oh, and she goodness. had this gorgeous big afro. She took it, I mean, you know. You know what? A big hair into, but it wasn't a small hair. She took that hair off and like 40 plus inches Girl. just fell out of it. Cause I got a new weave. Silky. New weave, 22 inches. 72 inches. And, and she, okay, this is her makeup. This was is the prettiest. Beautiful. This is the prettiest she's ever looked. You know what? I definitely have to say, up until this point, I was definitely counting Chi Chi out. I was like, why is she here? I don't really feel like she even really 
belonged on Drag Race, to be completely oh, on it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm keeping it real. Okay. But then okay. I saw that runway and I was like, okay, this is what they see in her. This, this is the Chi Chi that they are rooting for. Yeah. The way she came out, that Ella, bitch, I was, I was living. It was cute. And I was definitely here she for looks, it. She looks stunning. She looks so good. I think that and definitely redeemed her. Definitely. From her her, her runway definitely made up for that acting. Mm-hmm. And that acting was cockadookies. So last but not least, we have Miss Shangela coming out in a corn look. And we know corn, Shangela and corn go together like butter with corn. my butthole. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but I thought she looked so good when she came out in that in the corn and the headpiece. It looked really fantastic and she was like ripping off the leaves. I loved when she husked herself. She was yeah. like, definitely was the best look of the night for me. Wait. Mm -hmm. I thought it was original. Wait. You thought it was, you said it was Kennedy. I feel like when she took off the okay, headpiece with the corn and she had Swamp the popcorn thing. with that ugly ass, whatever Swamp. that was. It, was. it looked like seaweed. No. I, didn't, I didn't like that wig. I thought it was cool. I thought no. it looked really, she, y'all. Okay, so there's this Yu-Gi-Oh card called the Sleeping Lady, something. It's just, she has green hair similar to that color. She looked just like it. It I was like she was living my Yu-Gi-Oh fantasy and I love me some Yu-Gi-Oh. So I was living for it. I, I Go for it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it either. That it looked like seaweed. I I like the idea of the popcorn. I just didn't like that whatever material she used for the green wig. I think she could have done something different. Now that's what I call corn rolls. It just looked really. It looked really cheap. It looked cheaper than Party City. So ultimately, the top three. I'll say three because we believe it's three. Was Trixie, Kennedy, and Dela. Perfect. So how do you guys feel about those top three? I, I thought it was a good choice. Mm -hmm. um, I feel maybe potentially Trixie, because the top two ended up being Ben and Kennedy. I think Trixie could have been instead of Ben. I, I agree. Yeah, because Trixie really nailed it. Uh, if she wasn't bulldozed by milk yeah. over the topness, she probably would have been in the top. And I, I think the top would have been her and... Miss Davenport. But damn you, Milk, she messed it up for Trixie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then the bottom was Chi Chi, Aja, and Milk. Do y'all I feel agree? like it was a bottom it was really a bottom two. Let's just be real. Cause yeah. Aja's been on the top of her game this whole competition. Aja good, she good. But if Morgan McMichaels had won the, was in the top of this challenge, Aja would have went home. You but think so? According to Morgan McMichael's theory of how she was gonna vote people off? True. Yes. True. Well, unfortunately, Morgan left first episode. Bye, Bye Morgan. I, I still do feel like it was really a top two. They just had to put Aja in there just, you know, for shits and giggles. Right, right. But I agree with the bottom three that Rue chose, mm -hmm. only because Aja didn't know what the hell she was doing. Freaking milk was just team too much. Too much. And Chi Chi was team not enough. Girl, Girl. Chi Chi, I didn't even know what the hell she was trying to do. But I don't Aja... think she knew what she was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Aja definitely Girl. saved herself though with that outfit for sure. Yeah, really yes. for really sure. Did. I feel like Chi Chi's outfit and Aja's outfit definitely amped up their willingness not to go home. And again, Milk's look just did not do it. Milk's look, apparently for the judges. I liked well. it. I did. It, it was very, very, it was simple. All right, so before we get into this lip sync between Ben and Kennedy, how do we feel, first of all, about Kennedy choosing not to deliberate? She was like, I'm not deliberating, girl. I'm I'm, gonna, I mean, I feel like Kennedy knew. She knew. What she, who, she knew who she was going to pick once they said, you're in the top. She was mm -hmm. like, okay, I know exactly who I'm picking. Spoiler alert. It's milk. How did RuPaul say it? I don't know. When she said, Kennedy, with... Great power comes milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then also, before we get into the lip sync, in the deliberation when Dayla was talking to Chi Chi, Chi Chi straight up said, I don't know if I can make it to the end. Yeah. And that's another thing that leads me to believe maybe Chi Chi should not be on this. But she some, said it. Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to start going back up. That, that's true. Because look at Pearl, her season. She was in the bottom, and then after that, that woke her up. And she was top three after that. All right, so finally, this lip sync between Ben and Kennedy, it was to Lord's Green Light. Uh-huh, which Girl. is a great song. It's a, it's a, I've it's been really wanting to really perform good. that Me song. Me too, it's a really good song. All right, so let's talk about Ben first. So Ben, Girl. she said in her little confessional that she wanted to stray away from Campy to show them what she really got. But she came out on that ugly ass outfit, little cocktail dress. That was all cap girl. Girl, and she was trying to be serious, but she was like, nah, nah, nah. 
<laughs> it still came off as Kathy. It's because she was trying to be serious. Mm -hmm. If she yeah. would have just been like, okay, I'm about to perform this song. Yeah, right. I want to feel this mm -hmm. song and then perform it. Then she would have been good, but she was See, trying. Yeah. Juxtaposition to Kennedy. Kennedy was word. a whole... What did she say? Juxtaposition? Juxtaposition. Juxtaposition, okay. yes. Okay. I'm in college. She's I'm in college. Uh -huh. Okay. Pomona, CPP. For animal science. And and feel dance. with emphasis on dance. Double major. Two. That means yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, Those. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like just juxtaposition, Kennedy just sold me. She just stood there and did the she damn song. She felt the song. She, she felt, felt it. I felt it. Kennedy's lip sync honestly was my favorite in a long time. Same. It, it gave me the same feeling like when Alexis Mateo lip synced against um, Shangela to that Fantasia song. Oh, it, it, was, it was like she was feeling the song. Mm -hmm. Girl, she it was so good. I agree. Slaughtered daily. Oh, she mm -hmm. killed her. And it's funny because I don't ever think of that song as like a ballad kind of song. You know what I mean? I know. But she definitely know. sold me. She sold me to the sex slave trade in Yugoslavia, brought me back, sold me again. So ultimately, Kennedy won the lip sync and sent milk packing. Bye, milk. She boiled. I, I agree that milk should have gone home. One hundred percent. One hundred. She casted a black cloud yeah. on the episodes for me, and I'm ready to see the light. And the light of this season is what next, next week. Day. And you know what? I'm super excited because Dayla won her challenge. Yes. Her snatch game. Uh -huh. And um, oh. Kennedy won hers Kennedy. also. But sure. also. BB has never She's done, never done one. Game. So we're so gonna see what BB can do. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait for next week. It's gonna be such a good episode. Such a good episode. Thank you so much, Athena, for being with us Thanks, today. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe us. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Kendra Onyx. At Miss Gia Ferrari. And at Athena underscore kills. And we will see you guys next, next week. week. Come on out, Duane. Come on out.